Hello friends, we're back again after a little break. I've um, been super busy at work, but it's nice to, to sit down and play a little game again. Um, today we're playing Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I don't believe I've actually ever owned a Spyro game, but I played the first one on PlayStation 1. Um, it was actually a demo disc. Um, it's one of the, the first and only games I ever played with my dad. Um, we had good fun collecting all the gems and then we took a break for dinner and lo and behold being a demo it just reset itself and we lost all our progress um, I don't think my dad picked up a video game since then uh, but I've been looking forward to this one all week um, I picked it up in the Black Friday sale last week um, yeah looking forward to some gem collecting fun let's uh, start game save slots wow nobody needs memory cards anymore do they Spyro Dragon, Spyro, I can't even read that. Repose Race, and Spyro Year of the Dragon. I haven't heard of this middle one. But let's start with the original, Spyro the Dragon. Spyro is basically one of the mascots on PlayStation. I guess that in Crash Bandicoot. Um, you know, without having the likes of Sonic or Mario, this is basically what I grew up with, because I grew up with um, PlayStation. Uh, in the world of dragons... Oh, it's a loading screen. <laughs> I thought it was a story. Okay, rolling! Uh, oh, oh. Uh, it's been peaceful here in the Five Worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure, or is it four? <laughs> Little Spyro in the background, what about just headbutting that sheep North into oblivion. Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. It was gems, I was right. I couldn't remember if it was gems or crystals. Nasty Nark, it is with a G. Nasty. <laughs> It's so I don't even know when Sparrow came out, but it's so nineties, isn't it? Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it. I kind of sorta of remember this, but I don't know if this is was in the original game. Oh. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> okay, so he's just frozen all the dragons that were on that TV commercial. Uh, apart from Spyro. The adventure begins. <laughs> oh wow, we're straight in. Okay, so I can move around using... I was going to say the dual shock. I can move around using the um, thumbstick. I see a dragon. It looks nice, doesn't it? Look at the grass. And I can't remember the name, but there's this little... Um, well, it must be like a dragonfly. And from what I remember, that's like your health. So, it's yellow at the moment. I don't know if that's good or bad. I can use the right stick to change the camera angle. Let's go and run up to this dragon. There we go. Rescue Nestor. <laughs> Just dust himself off. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about nasty Nork? I'm going after him. <laughs> Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> that was basically the, the catchphrase that was the only thing I remembered about Spyro was what about nasty Nork? <laughs> so I'm glad they kept that. I it was a simpler time, wasn't it? Find ten dragons and then find the balloon man. But, oh there's a fairy. I think this is to do with saving. Let's see. Oh she oh she laughed and ran away. In fact she's doing a little backflip. That's cool. Oh, Oh yeah, I can glide. Okay, so the A button is my little jump, and if you tap it twice, I can glide. Can I do my charge? Yeah, so that's on X. And yeah, when you hit walls, you stun yourself. <laughs> and there's these doorways to go to different areas. That's Stone Hill. I'm assuming this is Artisan World. Let's have a look around. Uh, apologies if you get a little bit motion sick from the camera. I'll try not to move around too much. There we go, we've got some gems. Five gems. Another dragon. 
rescued Delbin. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch you. <laughs> Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks. Sparks, that's it. It's a he. Keep okay. An eye on him and see what I mean. I watched, uh, it's probably quite old, I, um, I've been going back through their videos, but I watched um, Ellen from Outside Extra playing uh, Spyro, it probably was this one, I can't even remember now. It, it just made me laugh because clearly they had never played a Spyro game. Uh, so all the things like the Dragonfly being the like, sort of health meter and things, completely new to them. Um, no discredit to them of course. Uh, but yeah, I really, that was partly what inspired me to like pick up Spyro again. I've jumped up on these platforms. I really struggled with this when I was younger, <laughs> just getting up on these kind of platforms. What are you? I don't recognize you, but you look terrified of me. Can we say hello? Or we can just hit you. <laughs> there you go. So we get 18 gems. Oh, some sheep. Let's find our uh, fire. So, is it going to be on B? Yep. <laughs> yep, you can barbecue sheep. <laughs> So nasty. <laughs> uh, I can't remember. Oh yeah, you barbecue them, and they <laughs> they turn into butterflies, and in sparks the uh, dragonfly eats them, and that's how they get more health. I mean, I'm kind of reminded of things like um, the getaway. Uh, that, I think that was also like a PlayStation 2 game, I want to say. And the idea is a little bit like Grand Theft Auto. It's like a mob thing and driving around, but they had it so that um, you the, the kind of directions were on the indicators of the car. Similar sort of idea here, the fact that, you know, apart from the gems appearing on screen to tell us how many we've got, there's no kind of HUD, there's no kind of UI. It is just Sparks, the little dragonfly. Um, it's based on colour, so obviously if you can't perceive the difference in colours, that's going to be challenging because it, it was a different time. Uh, oh, that was my fire again. Um, I don't know, it would be an interesting point actually if there's any um, settings regarding that. Oh, I'll go to the menu and have a look. Go, continue, guidebook, options and quick game. Options, controls. I was going to say it, I was very pleased the subtitles were on before this, you know, I didn't even have to change any sentence in the menu. Um, that's great. Uh, controls, sound, camera. Yeah, so there's no kind of visual settings so I don't know uh, I you know I'm not colorblind myself um, I'm not sure how obvious it is that Sparks is currently um, yellow at the moment I get the sheep see if he changes color when he eats that, <laughs> that um, little uh, butterfly as uh, another monster thing I don't know what these are called come here ah let's go in here more gems Oh, another dragon. Rescue Thomas. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? <laughs> plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. <laughs> That's so cute. I like Spyro's little expressions there. Oh, what was that? I literally ran through something and didn't realise what it was. Okay, can I get up there? Nope, not yet. Oh, let's go and get you. Ah, these guys! So they're carrying, I think it's bags of gems. Ah, hey! Oh. <laughs> I'm really st struggling to control it, sorry. Again. It's kind of, it's third person, but with the camera. Um, yeah, apologies if you get a little bit motion sick. Wow, it's taking quite a few hits. Oh, three hits. You get some gems, 31 gems. I can't remember, like, are there a certain number of gems per world? How does it work? I have no idea. Oh, I remember these towers though. We go in here. Yeah, we float up. Whee! Nice. Let's see another. I mean, it says Town Square this one, but I don't know if that's another world. Or what that is, but. Yeah, it's quite. You know, it's 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 um 
it's very common now, but back then, this kind of blew my mind, this idea of kind of like a hub world. And you can just travel off to different locations. You know, even things like looking in the background there, you know, clearly, I mean, this is a modern version, but even, you know, by, by standards back then, it's not like I can see very far. They very deliberately made the landscape so that <laughs> there's not much of a horizon. Well, sorry, there is a horizon, but like, that's it. Oh! Oh, damn. <laughs> Fell off that tower. <laughs> Let's uh, try that again. I was also just quite pleased how quickly we got into the game. Um, I literally had to just start the game. Right, this is a chest. Can I just headbutt it? Yep, there we go. 38. And I'm going to need to jump off the tower again. It's quite nice that it it's introducing that mechanic of like... It's not really a mechanic, is it? But like, you can go in this tower to float up higher, and then gliding. I can't necessarily reach, oops, <laughs> all these platforms in one glide. So it's encouraging me to kind of try it again and again. Uh, so I'm just jumping and then pressing it again. Ah, I don't know if I can like cancel my jump, my jump. Uh, skill of that last one. Struggled to get to that, that middle one. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to, <laughs> forgot to glide that time. I just jumped off. I like the music as well, so cheery. It was a different time, wasn't it? Just so... Oh, no, no. How do you... Maybe it's the dash button. Let's try that. Yeah, the dash button kind of cancels your glides, so I can get there. Is there another tower that side? Yeah, I think I've got that one. Uh, yeah, I think I've got it all here. Okay, let's go back where we came from. I have to say, I mean, I know it's early doors, but this is quite a faithful recreation of Spyro. I'm really pleased. Ah, come back. Where are you? <laughs> like everything from... The way Spyro moves to these characters and their, their interactions, it looks, you know, nice and glossy and polished, but it literally reminds me exactly of the demo that I played years ago. And I similarly uh, really struggled to control Spyro at high speeds back then as well. Come here! <laughs> Come here! That was two, maybe one more. There we go. Yeah, and like the sound effects too. I don't know. Memory's a fickle thing. Maybe that's just rose tinted glasses. Maybe it didn't sound that at all. What are these? They're like stepping stones, but they light up. Ooh, secret area. Sunny flight. And we got an achievement. Found the hidden entrance to Sunny Flight. Nice. Alright, let's keep finding these. So we are in Artisan World, let's find these, all these dragons. Um, it is definitely Artisan World because we've seen like a painter I think, we've seen like a musician. I kind of remember there being a hedge maze. Dark Hollow, yeah. So there's quite a few worlds off this. Come here you. <laughs> nope. Don't know what that was but it, oh that must be lives. How can I? Oh, I can roll. Press the trigger buttons. <laughs> That's cool. That again, that was in the original, but I just forgot. And fire is on the right trigger. And left trigger re the camera. Um, I wondered about how I could bring up the lives and things, I think. Okay, so there's like a look mode. I can do like first person mode. Kind of. It's, it's sat right behind my head. Um... How? Oh, it's also on Y as well. That was on the right stick, but it's on Y as well. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I... It came up there. Maybe it's the left stick. Pressing the left stick down brought up my... Yeah, so gems, 61. Dragons, 3. Lives, 5. And Sparks is now blue. I think that, I'm taking that as a good sign. Let's get out of this hedge maze. Um, see if we can find more gems and more dragons. I mean, look at the grass. 
like change days. <laughs> Just so nice. Go and eat that, Sparks. Oh, Sparks is yellow. Hang on. Why was Sparks just blue there? Oh, I can burn the grass. <laughs> and it, does it fade away? Yeah, it does. That looks nice though. As uh, a castle thing. I think that's where we started. Can I get back up there? Oh, a bit higher maybe. Oh, there's gems over there. I'll try for those in a minute. Oh, yep. Not quite high enough to get on that ledge. Try this way. Da, 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 da. Ah, it's so lovely. Yeah, this is where we started. So there's nothing here. But we can go over there. I feel like that fairy is something to do with saving your game, but I can't remember. Wow. Okay. Struggle with that. Burn that flower. <laughs> I don't know if, if there's a trick to getting out there because I am not managing it. Let's jump. No. Hmm. Well, there must be a way, but <laughs> clearly I am not managing it. What if I start from here? There we go. Oh, we got a skill point, whatever that is. So I just, yeah, you, you lose height as you glide, so I just didn't need to glide as far. I see you hiding back there. Yes. Let's go down here. Is this the way we went before? It looks like it, but there's a fairy. Hello. Talk to the fairy. Ah, okay, so you can replay the dragon to hear what they said. So we must have been here before. This is that tower, yeah. Let's go back up here. Oh. Uh, that's that secret entrance over there. There's the hedge maze. If we're meant to find ten dragons here, I mean, unless maybe Artisan World is the whole thing, but I don't know. There we go. We haven't been in here before. Smash these chests. I remember, we haven't seen them yet, but I know there's some chests that you can't, um, well maybe you can smash them, but I know you can't burn them. Um, maybe it was those, I just didn't try. Oh, there's the balloon man. Oh, right, so he will take us to other worlds. If you prove your worth by rescuing ten dragons, then you may use this balloon to fly to a new world. Again, a different time. They're, they're very much tutorializing me. Find the dragons, otherwise you can't progress. So yes, yeah, so all those gates I've been ignoring, thinking they went to other worlds. No, this is the world. <laughs> this is all artisan world, including those gates. I just haven't been through any. So let's go through this one here. What's this? Uh, Stone Hill. And there's a little flying animation. Entering Stonehill, treasure found, 87, pretty good. I have no idea how much treasure there is in the whole game, but I'm sure in this day and age of um, achievements, uh, platinums, I mean this is Xbox, but this, there must be um, achievements for getting all the gems. Ah, I can flap my wings if I press A. Here we go. Here, I see you, Chess. Yeah, <laughs> it's so satisfying. I mean, it was a, a great design when it was made, but even now, just so satisfying. To smash things, get the gems. Yes, come here, you. Oh, he's a ram. Oh, I didn't realize that, but thankfully I headbutted him <laughs> before he got a chance to headbutt me. <laughs> wow. I see you. Come here. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, clearly I have to headbutt those ones. Again, kind of familiar, but I don't quite remember. 
I wonder, I say I, I believe I only ever played the demo, so I have no idea what other kind of creatures we'll meet. More gems. This is like a very big room for not a lot happening. Usually would make me worried, but... Oh, what are you? I have no idea. <laughs> I just smashed you, whatever you were. You were a little case with a pair of eyes in there. <laughs> hey, we found another dragon. Rescued Astor. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. <laughs> It'll take you back to the artisan home. Okay. But first, let me tell you a Okay, story. settle in, kids. No thanks. See ya. <laughs> Spyro knows what's up. <laughs> Alright, return home. Cool. So, yeah, I just saw we've got 54 gems, but treasure said 87, so is treasure not gems, or maybe it's 54 gems in this uh, place, but not, but 87 in the, all the places we've been to? I don't know. Hello. Rescued Lindar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. Okay. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. <laughs> I like how all these dragons, they get they get unfrozen, they're very grateful, and then they just disappear. <laughs> just leave Spyro to it. Yeah, these are the case, the chests that if I burn them, they don't break, but I can smash them. I headbutt them. Yeah. Yeah, 95 gems. Cool. Let's barbecue some more sheep. His fire breath goes a lot further than I remember. Let's see, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> I yeah, they replicate so many things. I like how Sparks when he's chasing down the butterflies to eat them, he, he just gobbles one up just as he swoops around in front of the camera. So you get to see his little smiley face in his eyes. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, I think we've been here. Yep. That's the way home. Uh, here? No. But right here. I see gems. So nope. Again, really nice the gems float towards you. You don't need to be like perfect with your aim. Come here. I guess it's like Sonic's rings and I don't know what Mario has, but Spyro's got his gems. Oh! <laughs> that like farmer or wizard or whatever just hit me with his cane. Come here! I'm gonna hit that um, ram. <laughs> really struggling to aim. There we go. Cheap as well if I'm quick enough. Yes. <laughs> right, let's go up in this tower. See if we can get to any more platforms. What's up there? Let's see. Ah. Oh, another dragon. Let's go. Rescued Gildas. Yes, please. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump, and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. So I think action is the, the sort of head button, uh, sprint button, which was X, I think. 
Uh, where do we want to get to? I think we can get over there. Shall we try that? Let's go. Yeah, so we're kind of outside the edge of the world. Again, when I was a kid, like, just being able to get up here felt like I shouldn't be here. <laughs> is this an invisible wall? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Alright, but I can at least run round the outside here. Yep, hidden chest, there we go. Again, I say I remember with my dad, like, scouring the landscape trying to find all the gems and being so close and then inevitably being called for dinner and then... <laughs> losing all that progress. I have a feeling that the demo probably wouldn't let you collect all the gems in the world because they obviously want you to know you need to keep looking so I don't know we'll see. Oh okay no invisible wall here oh wow there's like a little cave down there. Let's go and have a look. Do not remember that. Okay Key. I have no idea what the key's for, but okay. Got a key in this cave. We got some secret chests. Cool. Uh, I don't know if the water's toxic, but let's go back to this little um, updraft to take us up again. Whoosh. Turn home. Okay, so we can go home here. Yeah, we're back here again. Cool. Uh. Are there any? More bits that we haven't seen. Six dragons, I mean we haven't been to all the worlds yet, but are there... Oh well, there we go. Another secret area. <laughs> ah, so this is what the key's for. Open up that case. Nice. And another dragon. Rescued Gavin. <laughs> Watch the dragon fly, Spyro. His colour indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. <laughs> all dragons found. Ah, that's nice. So we're not just wandering aimlessly. So we found all the dragons uh, in this world, because we need to find ten. So we've still got, I think there's two more worlds to look at. And i got all the gems down here. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's all the gems in this uh, area. I'm not sure. I don't think we've missed anything. Uh... Yeah. So I just gotta remember which way was it to the exit. Oh, there's a gem. <laughs> Another one. Alright, we have missed some things. Let's look around the edge. Uh so fast. Uh nope, not in here. Okay. Oh, I think that flash we saw before was just it happened again. I think it's the um, the fairy sort of saving my progress or something again. Here we are. Return home. Flying home. Returning to artisans. Treasure found. Two hundred sixty-four. It must be like a total from all the worlds, maybe. Hey, you can roll in midair. <laughs> And blow fire. Slap my wings. <laughs> nice. Ah, and the enemies have respawned. Let's get them. Yar. Uh, they're not dropping anything, so I think we just stay away from them. We've been too quick for them. I'm assuming they would hurt us if we hung about. Uh, right, so that was Stone Hill. It doesn't tell me on this gate that I've completed it, but we heard that it was all dragons found. Uh, what's through here? We didn't go through here before. More chests. another dragon and there's a really disturbing looking big dragon head over there. <laughs> oh, rescued Argus and it opened up. Cool flash. Do that again. <sighs> the artisan's boss is through a portal behind me. 
You can challenge him now, if you feel you are ready. Okay, all dragons found here. So there must be a boss per world then. Yeah, that's called Toasty. That fairy just zapped me again. <laughs> oh, the, oh, when I burn the sheep, they lose all their wool. <laughs> and then they disintegrate. Great. Uh, there must be other worlds here. Let me find the... I keep saying worlds. probably the wrong thing. Let me find the... Um, the portals to the other ones. Uh, it's not here. Oh, you've got any more gems? Come here. Oh, I got some life off you, I think. Come here! God, you're quick on your feet. <sighs> there we go. No, no new gems. Okay. So yeah, once you've killed the enemies, seems like they don't um, drop any new gems. Okay. Uh, let's go back up here. Oh, there was a secret waterfall one, wasn't there? Like behind the water. Yeah, so let's go over there. See. Oh, I think the water hurts. Yeah, the water hurts. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> now we know. Uh, <laughs> let's fly to this other little area. Whoosh, whoosh. Entering sunny flight. <laughs> little loop to loop as we land. Oh! Oh wow, well, okay, so it is a flying... Oops. Uh oh, uh oh. Get out the water! Oh. Okay, so it's like a bonus level. Would you like to try again? Yes, okay. Let me try. And the controls, I noticed, were kind of inverted. Yes, yeah, so up is down. To be honest, not sure what I... Oh crap! <laughs> not sure what I prefer. I don't play that many flying games. Or first person shooters now actually. I used to when I was younger but not for a while. Uh, right, don't dash is the first bit of advice there because dashing cancels your flying. It's alright when we're on the train tracks here. Oh. Whoa! Goodness. Uh, yeah and I'm on I must be on like a time limit. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gathering barrels, but I don't think this is everything. Just some other things. Gonna run out of time, six seconds, five seconds. <laughs> yeah, time's up. Uh, would you like to retry? We got six barrels out of eight. There was also apparently eight planes. Eight chests and eight arches. Uh, let's not worry. Um, but clearly, if I want to catch all the stuff, I need to do that level again. Okay. <laughs> Returning to artisans. Oh, excuse me. It has been a week. Oh, cool. I can move up and down. Not flying. It's nice. It's, little, it's basically a loading screen, but it's nice. They made it a little bit interactive. I wish more games did that. Switch my little tail as I'm flying. Cool. So we know that there's a time attack mode in Sunny Flight. Cool. I don't know. Did I miss any other worlds here? This, this is that one. It's the one in the... Did we do this one? The one in the maze? Uh, I don't think we did Dark Hollow. Let's go there. Leaning left to right. <laughs> you did a really good job on the Spyro character. Q. 
Okay. Oh, those guys are shields. Okay, well I got through him, but I feel like <laughs> I feel like the shield gives them protection. Oh, nice. So it's not um, it's not always sheep. So here it's frogs. So have we killed the frogs? I think Sparks probably eats the frogs. <laughs> Get some more gems. What's this? Oh, it's a chest. Okay, I need a key for that one. I remember you big guy with the club. Yeah. <laughs> I ran right into you. Yeah, you're not so tough. Little campfire. <laughs> nice. Gems. I can't it's it's maybe like partly muscle memory, but I mean, that's a bit of a stretch, but just partly like experience playing lots of platformers. Um, I remember a lot of this taking a long time on the demo, <laughs> but clearly not so much now. Okay, so charging doesn't work with those guys. So famous last words about it being <laughs> easy. Uh, yeah, so I think charging doesn't work on the guys with clubs, and I haven't tried it, but presumably fire doesn't work on the guys with the metal shields. That's another dragon. Rescue Darius. <laughs> enemies like this north with a club cannot be charged. But a Thanks. quick play that should defeat them. Figured that out myself, thank you. Come on, Sparks. Eat your dinner. There we go. Oh, I have something else through here. Return home, okay. Cool. We've got all the gems there. Let's go through here. Yeah, little platforms. What's up there? Who are you? Alright, let's go back that way. Still don't know what they are. They're like things in cases. The controller batteries are low, that's not what I want, but let's see how we get on. Cool. Rabbit, rabbit. Got the club up there. Let's go up there. Too easy. <laughs> it's not the dragon here. Hi there, rescued Alban. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me. But here's a hint: their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Yep. Figure that out already as well, thanks, you know, if, if you know that, why did they get you? <laughs> you get the feeling that Spyro is the one that does all the work in his kingdom. Everyone else just lets him get on with it. Cool, I think we've done this area? Been up there, yeah? Uh, oh, we haven't been down here. Oh yeah, what are you? All right. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Cool. So, invulnerable to charge, but um, flammable from behind. <laughs> there was more of you, is there? <laughs> oh, another dragon. 
Rescue does win. Spyro, wanna know a secret? Use the action button when you wanna zoom in and look around. All your secrets safe with me. <laughs> oh, Dragon's fan. What's the action button? Mm. No idea. <laughs> we found it earlier, but now I can't figure out what it is. That's alright, thanks. Let's go down here. Oh, key. Oh, we... Maybe it was in this world. We saw a chest. Was that when we first arrived? Maybe I'm misremembering. There was like a chest we needed a key for. Uh, yeah, I might be misremembering, but we'll see. There you are, you glowy thing. You're the chest. All the gems. Nom 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 nom. 98 gems. Is it a stretch to think that there's 100 gems per world? I don't know. No idea. Uh, don't see anything else. I think we've done it in this area. Let's go up here. I feel like this is the way out. Maybe. Yeah, return home. Do -do 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 -do. Treasure found. 371. A couple of rolls. We're flying. Right, we're back here. Um, I don't think we've missed any more areas. So, let's go and face the boss, shall we? Uh, where was the boss? <laughs> where was the boss? The balloon man. Oops. Come on, Spyro. Look where you're going. Right. Balloon man directly opposite the castle. Okay, remember that. Uh, been through that gate. Hello. Gonna go in here. Oh, they shake because they're scared of me. Sorry. Uh, that's the tower. Oh, we haven't been in there. Town Square. Let's go back up there. So, yeah. Let's go to Times Square. Whoosh. Again, all very simple. You know, you're in a hub world. It's got different areas. Defeat the monsters, rescue the dragons, collect the gems, but it's just something about that kind of collecting that's just so satisfying. <laughs> and the music is lovely, it's all very cheery and happy. So. Big loop to loop. Yeah, here we go. That's good news. <laughs> Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. You've got a very slender oh, neck. Gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. Okay. Uh Okay, so a combination. So uh, charge, 
and then they're stuck in the ground and then burn them. Nice. Clearly setting us up for more complicated enemies later probably. Oop. Okay, so again, yeah, with the chest, smash the chest, but it doesn't smash, so you have to jump, get the gem. Nice. I don't know what you are. <laughs> oh, that gives me life. Okay. Oh, almost didn't see the water there. Rescue Devlin. I remember that name. I don't know if Devlin was always here. Maybe they moved the dragons around. I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glide? Yeah, we got told that already. At the very top of your jump. Go back to baking your cakes. Nope, that's water, there's no go there. Let's go up here. Quite a few pills in this area. Have you all gone? Is that you all? Okay. Let's get Alvar. Spyro, do you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stealing a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. <laughs> run, run. <laughs> all right, calm down. I'll find your egg. Oh, there's the bill. <laughs> Oh, any more for any more? Uh, more gems. Let's return home. Okay. Where is this thief? What have we got here? Chickens. Where are the chickens? Eat the chickens, Sparks. Come on. Um, I don't see a thief. Oh, they're up there. I see sneaky, sneaky, sneak, sneak. How do I get up there? <laughs> uh, or even how do I get up there? Not quite sure. Um, let's go this way. That's the water. There's a dragon there too. How do we get up there? Um, Jump on this thing, but it's not high enough, is it? Surely not. And I can't glide all the way around the corner. I mean, if I can't get the dragon, that seems a bit unfair. Like, surely... Surely there's a way up there. What am I missing? I could go on the fountain, but I don't want to fall in the water. Go back down the stairs. Because um, I can't go back this way, can I? No, I'm never going to make that. So there must be a way to get there from here. I hear you. I know you're there. And I can jump here. If I go a couple of steps up. Not enough, is it? 
I mean, maybe it's from... Is it from the very top? Nearly. <laughs> let's try that again. If I don't get it, let's just move on. That's so close. Alright, I'm going to give it one more go, but I feel like that's how you do it. Uh, get up there, Spyro. Come on. Oh, so close. Come on, if it's not that, what is it? Alright, let's return home, but yeah, clearly we haven't finished this world. There's still a dragon there, and there's still a thief to catch. Let's go and fight the, uh, the boss. Turning to artisans. Whoosh, whoosh. <sighs> cool, that was town square. Let's go down here. Whoosh. Yeah, coming through. Where's the boss? <laughs> Cannot remember. Oh wait, I said it was opposite the castle. Yeah, it's in here, I think. No, is that the balloon man? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the balloon's here. Okay. So... Balloon's here. We've been through that gate. Is it through here? There it is. Inside this dragon mouth thing, I think. Yeah. Alright. Let's go. Toasty. Ooh, nice sunset. Confronting Toasty. I have no memory of this. Clearly I didn't meet a boss in the demo, so I have no idea what to expect. Some wizards. There's a dog. Wow, okay the dog jumped on me. Okay, so a bit like the bulls, I have to uh, headbutt the dogs and then burn them. Oh! Get off! Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, burning them twice works as well. I think I lost a lot of health there. I don't see sparks anymore. That's not a good sign. Uh, is there any sheep, please? Sheep, sheep, sheep. Away from the dogs. Oh, okay. Alright, it's not headbutting, it's burning. <laughs> We've lost our first life. Reigniting. <laughs> oh, and the farmer wizard guys hit you with their stick. Great. Right, let's ignore you on the top platform there. Let's go straight for you. Ow. Come on. Come on. I'm sure I hit you twice. There we go. What was that? Oh, another life. Cool. Or at least progress towards life. Oh, okay. So I collect enough of those few little um, orb things and I'll get another life. Cool. Again, we've lost sparks, so we've lost a lot of health. 
great. Whiff, whiff, whiff. Yeah, you can't reach me from there. I really need some sheep or frogs. <laughs> Get out of it. Rescued Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. <laughs> Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Okay, that's not good. Uh, I need. I need. Health. There's another dog there. Oh, come on, I got you. Ah, okay. <laughs> we lost another life. I mean, we've got ten lives. That's pretty good going. But even so, if this is the first world, it's only going to get harder. Cool. We didn't lose much progress. Let's attack and retreat. Attack. Come on, burn you. Yes. Cool. Right, Toasty, you look like a scarecrow. What's your trick? Spyro doesn't really have any long range attacks. Uh, his flames go quite far, but not too far. Yeah, the dogs kind of jump towards you. I'd flatten you, but we can get away in time to surprise them again. Ah, okay. So Toast is not a scarecrow. It's it's kind of like someone on stilts. Ah, come on, get off! Is that it? That was easy. <laughs> Achievement unlocked burnt toast. Defeat toasty without getting hit by him. We didn't even see whatever his attack was. Uh, yeah, we've kind of done that. Cool. Is there any more gems we've missed? What was that? Nope. Nothing there. Cool. Return home. Turning to artisans. Flap the little wings. Cool. Now we got nine lives, so. Wow, we're inside of the mouth, that's horrible. <laughs> so Sparks is yellow, so I'm assuming yellow is good. Uh, so yeah, we want to keep Sparks yellow. Cool, well, apart from where I couldn't get up on that ledge to get that dragon, which is slightly annoying me, <laughs> and I will figure it out. Uh, I think we've pretty much finished our first world. Um, I know we can go down here to see the uh, balloon man I say no idea what to expect because I never got that far in a demo I don't think it was even an option but taking that far um, yeah I think I will end it there for today but we will definitely be back because I really enjoyed this look at Spyro's little tail swishing it's like a little cat pretty pretty Spyro <laughs> uh, yeah thanks for joining I've really enjoyed this um, Spider was tired, I'm tired, time for bed. Um, but yeah, see you later friends. <laughs>